Hey everyone, uh, back for this week at MBE. Just uh, just a quickie, we got some A460s we're finishing up here for the customer. You can tell by the ink that will be, uh, that the ma we're finishing up the manifold right now. And then uh, we have a set of big nines. So we're making fixtures. This is a very tall deck. This is 11, uh, let's see what the build sheet says. So it's 11600 deck, so we have to make some fixtures to bring the Bring the head up to 11.6 just to double check that the manifold fits perfect from Dave Hughes at HRE. So, just to double check it, not like he ever does anything wrong. It's usually always perfect, but why not double check it before we ship it? And then, uh, so basically all this stuff is going to be finished next week. The Fords will be finished, the A460s. We have the 18 degree conventionals. These will be finished. Uh, the Big nines will be finished for Gleaves and for Jewel. And then we have a set of billets. Those will ship, those will, most of this stuff will ship probably by Wednesday. So all of this will be finished. And then if we go in the other room, we can see that we have a lot of, well, actually let's go back here. We have big nines came in, castings came in. So we're trying to stay ahead of that. As we know with COVID, things, sometimes things are, are, are hard to get, but, um, we're very fortunate that we've been, we stayed ahead of it. Um, so these will go on the machine for seats and guides and all of that here. Um, honestly, probably next week or so. Um, we're gonna do some maintenance on the five axis because they've been running for six months straight. So we'll, we're gonna stop for a week and do a bunch of maintenance on those. But uh, then we'll come down here. And then we had another pallet of castings come in. So these are the new um, these are our new LS cylinder head. Um, now that Dart doesn't offer that the casting that that they have anymore, um, we're going to switch all this stuff over to here. Which the port's higher on this head, the flow coefficients are better, and it has more cross-sectional area. So, truthfully, it's just a much better head. It has a better rocker. It has 32 fasteners holding the rocker bar on. It starts off as a CID casting, and you can see when we get them, they're raw. There are no guide bores, seat bores. There is nothing in them. Um, so they just cube, they, they just cube the outside of the head for us, and put the bolt holes in. And then we'll go and put all the bolt holes in here, make sure the pad height's correct. We'll machine all of that, spring pockets, guide bores, all of that. So that's the new that's the new LS head. So. We got a few sets of those already sold, so we'll be machining on those, doing the finished porting, um, probably like two and a half weeks, just because of the maintenance we're doing on the five on both machines. Not that anything's wrong; it's just doing preventive maintenance, so it, everything, so it's not wrong. And then uh, we got a set of the Fords, which looks similar to an LS, because I think, as anybody knows, GM finally got smart and 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 basically copied a Ford and made the LS. So it was, it was about time, it was probably overdue. Not that I'm a Ford or a Chevy guy or anything, just from the standpoint, it's, it's just a better, it's a better block, everything about it's better. So, you know, these always look like they're billet, even though they're not, just because of all the machining we do to them. So this just have to be final valve job here. But um, boy, these things are just, you know, 2285 valve, inch 625 in the exhaust. We're doing a version with a 2300, uh, 2300 intake valve and an inch 600 exhaust. So we have a set of those going for comp eliminator. So we're pretty excited about that. It'll be nice back to do some NA stuff, which normally aspirated. We don't get to do that too much anymore except for the truck pull, which we always enjoy. And then we have our power adder billet head here. So this, this head's finished. Just got to clean it. And then this is getting a sheet metal uh, HRE manifold. So it'll have two carbs on it, and this is a nitrous nitrous deal here. So, like we say, on the nitrous stuff, it's not about the not about the valve angle. It's about the chamber design. Okay, it's a very fat valve angle in this, and then uh, we just have stuff for service in here. Actually, this is a new set of RO7s. Customers deciding if if they want us to do a program for it for their uh, for their Bush deal for the NASCAR Bush deal. So it's up to them, no big deal if they don't, if they do, or when they're ready, we'll do it. And then uh, we just have a set of uh, SC1s in here to, uh, to service for a customer. So 
Um, you can see all the repair work got out last week that was here, which this whole cart was full of repair work. So the guys definitely kicked some ass this week and got all that done for all our customers. And uh, certainly grateful of that. And then uh, we come in here and you can see not only did they get all the repair work shipped out, but we have all of this stuff to go together. So we got a set of nines to go together, a set of 18s to go together. We got another set of 18s to go together. And then the manifold stuff, all this stuff is finished. Everything here is finished, the big nine stuff, everything. And that pretty much covers it. So thanks again for joining us for this week at MBE. And everyone have a great week.